Now we are going to see how to create a, a simple role runner or a simple role engine completely from the scratch. So this is a very sample project. So it doesn't have anything a simple app is there and if I try to run it, it doesn't do anything. It just prints the hello world and couple of the stars. And I'm using IntelliJ community version. So let's create a role engine. So here I'm going to create a sample one. So here we are going to find out the discount. What I mean to say is we are going to create a role engine to calculate the discounts. I'm creating as a build app. So in the build app, we need a public static void. So as part of it, we are going to create, first of all, a rule engine. So let's go one step at a time. And finally, we will achieve, if we pass a bill amount, and depending on the bill amount, the rules will be executed and we'll get the discount. So first of all, let's create a rule engine. So let's say rule engine. So and as part of the rule engine, I am expecting run rules are simple run so far for us so where is the rule engine i'm creating in the same rule engine and of course it has a public constructor and it is a default constructor as well so as part of it we are expecting another one public void run so as part of here this is the place where we have all the rule run and it gives the value so for now it's a void as i mentioned We'll go step by step. So here is the one and here constructor and run. And I run the application, you will see that running rules that is expected. Now what we need to do is we need to create a set of rules and those need to be running. So a set of rules means we need a collection. So here I'm going to take a list, which is nothing but array list. So I wait list and here I am going to create a rule so this rule could be in the interface which can be a marker interface or any other interface which might be having multiple methods but for now let's take it as a marker interface so marker interface is nothing but it doesn't have any method it's just an interface syntax so here we have the rules and among the rules we are going to new array list that's all. So here when we run the rules, we are going to loop through the rules. So we are going to loop the rules. I am just using like this rules dot size. And after that, each rule will be running it. So here rules dot index. So we will get the rule and from the rule we will be saying run again. So each rule has its own and it will be running it. So let's create a rule. So first we need to create a rule, but needs to be extended from an interface. So I'm saying interface, I rule and public void run. So as part of it will be there and this rule is going to extend I rule. Okay. So as part of it here we need to implement run method so here i am saying it simply running rule so what is this error so yeah that needs to be implements so here i need to implement let's import the list as well and semicolon now everything looks good but so all compiler error are gone now we have a rule also but the rule has not been added so go to the constructor rules dot add and here i am saying new rule and let's run the application now and if we run the application now rules started running the rules and each rule is running by itself so this is how a rule engine a simple rule engine it will be there so in our case we will be writing instead of the rules we will be saying discount so let me call it as list discount rule so let's come here let's add the list discount rule over there 
so when we rerun it obviously it runs exactly as we expected it doesn't take any inputs but the rules needs to be run on a set of data so that's where we need to write it so in our case what we are expecting we are expecting a total amount or simply we can say amount also running rules for amount now we need to use the same amount here also which means even here we are going to take long amount which means your interface needs to be modified long amount running rules for amount and let's rerun the application one second there is an error yeah here in the rule run we need to pass it right now here i'm passing 100 so when we rerun it the data has been passed so we can take the decisions now and we can compose the actual one so for example here here we will be printing total amount and here is the amount itself i will be saying plus one percent so one percent means we need to take long discount one percent so that means i need to divide it by 100 so either multiply like this by 100 or any other style so right now let's keep the same way plus i will say discount so for the first time we will be saying with 150 and let's rerun the application whether the rules are being processed as we expected or not okay it is yeah now we should get 151 the discount has been calculated and the total amount is this one. let's print the discount also reformat and rerun so now we will have the both of them so discount how much discount and the total oh sorry discount needs to be subtracted so now we will get accordingly so we will get 149 so this is for the least discount rule and if it is less than 100 then it will not work so let's say that one maximum maximum will be going to give five percent so some other logic simply so here i'm saying max discount if the amount is greater than ten thousand then i'm going to give five percent okay so let's add the rule to our rules engine new max discount rule change the comment so now when we pass it we will get as 150 itself so max rule it's just evaluating it and just remove this one so we will not get the additional ones so we'll come to know which rule has been processed so in this case only list rule has been composed and it has given the input so what we need to do is here we need to add else if condition also in this case the rules need to be executed as mutual exclusion that means one rule satisfies other rules should not just like if else ladder so here i'm saying less than thousand if it's a less than thousand then less than or equal let's put it as less than or equals to so when we run it it perfectly works but if i change the amount to 15,000 now it is going to run from the higher max discount rule so as part of the max discount rule it took the 5% and 5% is 750 and the total amount 14,250 rather than the 15,000 so this is a very simple way of writing so far we have checked the rules that are creating as a class so every time creating a class and executing them might not be possible in that case we can use anonymous classes in case of java 8 we can use lambda expressions in this case how are we going to anonymous classes so all initial is new and i rule this is how we create anonymous classes but we decided to use the lambda expressions so use the lambda we have only one method so directly it has been taken care of at least the lambda would be easily working when we have a single method 
So in this case, let's use that one. Let's marking that this interface will have only one method. How are you going to do that? We are going to use defining with a marker interface saying the functional interface. So this is the marker interface or marker annotation. So with this one, we are going to have only one method that is run method itself. So now as part of it, let's say this is a special amount. So let's say. So when we execute it, even the special discount will come. Special discount is come. Now we need to calculate the discount from each rule. So in this case, let's change this one to return amount itself. So instead of the void, I'm going to change it to return some value. Otherwise, we are going to return zero. And in the same manner for the max rule as well. So now in case of this special, here also we need to return some amount. So by default, let's assume that here special discount is always 100. So now each rule is giving a discount value. So let's calculate the discount. So we need to use the discount is equal to discount plus. So every time whenever the discount comes, we are just adding it up and finally we'll print discount. We format it and re-execute it. Now we have 850 because by default we get 750 from the max discount rule and remaining 100 is coming from here. So here I'm going to add discount. Same, let's add the same discount even for the high discount rule and even for the special discount. Let's remove the special discount here and here the discount is by default 100. So let's read on the execution. Now we'll get each and every place how much is the discount that is being added. So finally we get 850. So this is how the rules will take the input and return the value also. Here I have used the primitive data type which is a long but we can use any object or any data type. If we have more than one input to be passed, then you have to create your own object, a custom class, and then pass the custom class and extract the data from it. And you can either return it or set it back on the data object.